Hey there, people! I'm your friendly neighborhood Let's Player Spanamana. Welcome you to Let's Play Blind Holiday Espionage Action Merry Gear Solid Secret Santa. Also known as just Merry Gear Solid. Now, I've heard about this game. I've seen the title in some places, but I've never seen anything about the game. So, all I can tell that it is, uh, well, it's an old game as you can see, 10 years ago. And, uh,. I can pretty much tell that it was made with the RPG Maker. And, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. All I know is it's some kind of... It's a parody of uh, Metal Gear Solid. I think it's Solid Snake being the secret Santa to Hideo Kojima or something like that. But, new game? Let's go. Christmas is next week, next weekend, not that this weekend, the next week's weekend. So, this was suggested to me by Jace that I should try these out. There's also a sequel to this game, Merry Gear Solid 2, which I'm gonna be trying next Friday. We'll just see how this goes. I like the sprite. It's a very nice sprite that they have for the secret Santa here. Nick, it's been a long time. Tiny Tim. Oh, they stopped calling me that 20 years ago. Just Tim will do. 20 years. Yes, it's been 20 years since the Ebenezer Eve incident. The world has changed since then. Military surveillance crafts have been circling the skies in a response to the 9-11 attacks six years ago. That's why it's far too risky to let you deliver presents the traditional way. The traditional way? We can't risk having you spotted soaring through the sky on a sleigh. With the nation on high alert as it is, there's far too great of a chance you'll be branded a national threat. Ooh. So that's why I'll be delivering gifts by foot, I presume. Precisely. This is a top secret covert mission. From this point on, we'll be referring to each other by code names. My code name will be Major Tim. Mm -hmm. And yours, Nick, will be Solid Santa. <laughs> Solid Santa. Has a nice ring to it. So what's the mission? Your mission is to infiltrate this house and to deliver the present you've got in your sack to the Christmas tree, located on the topmost floor. Sounds easy. It's not as easy as it sounds. Most people are asleep at this hour, but a couple of naughty naughty children might be wandering around trying to get a peek at the presents before morning. So I get to throw coal at them, right? No. This is above everything else a stealth mission. You must not be discovered or the mission will be a failure. Do whatever it takes to stay out of the enemy's field of vision. To make things easier, you'll need to make use of any tools you find in the house. I'll be giving you advice and instructions via codec. My frequency is 012.25. All right. Commencing Operation Secret Santa. <laughs> 01225, of course, Christmas Day. This is gonna be interesting, to say the least. Gotta be careful of naughty children walking around the town. Around town? Around the house. Oh, I can go against the wall, of course, because I'm Solid Santa. Also, the voice actors, and, well, you can definitely tell what they're parrying there. Major Tom and Solid Snake from Snake Eater. Metal Gear Solid 3, which is an awesome game on its own. Ugh. And of course, there's gonna be these. Major, I've made it into the house. Yeah, it looks clear. I'm just gonna run for it. Everybody's gotta be asleep. Santa, wait. You want to make sure you aren't running into a trap. Walk up to a wall and press the arrow key towards it. You should start to hug the wall. By hugging the wall, you can see what's up ahead. I've already done it a few times. Walls. What is this? Happy Funland? And you can easily tell it's the same guy doing the voices. It's a pretty good job. It's not a, the worst uh, Solid Snake impression I've heard. I mean... My Solid Snake impression is worse. Much, much worse. Is that kid carrying a candy cane like a weapon? Can I go into the fireplace? Nope. Also, the game is very reminiscent to the first uh, Metal Gear game. On the visuals. Because it's done with the RPG Maker, of course. It has to be very simplistic. <laughs> Can I open the door? Nope. Apparently not. Upstairs we go! 
House, the second story. This actually reminds me of the Metal Gear Solid VR missions now. Now that I think about it. Practicing on how to avoid... Uh, Nothing equipped. You can make distractions by hugging a wall and pressing control. Okay, that's good to know. So I can I can knock on walls. But this is just like the VR missions. You're gonna tell me to knock on the wall, aren't you? Just what I learned. So, what's wrong? There's a guy blocking a really narrow hallway, and it's so annoying because I can't get past him. What am I supposed to do? Disappear into fat air? Oh, relax. Try distracting him by making a noise. Hug a wall and press the control key. I just learned that. investigate the sound, so try to slip past him while he's not looking. The old switcheroo. What are you talking about? That kind of trick only works on five-year-olds. Santa, the first rule of the battlefield is to know your enemy. Only then can you fully understand how to overcome it. What are you trying to say? That the trick will work because they are five-year-olds. Oh. <laughs> and also, it works on uh, human size, uh, normal adult soldiers as well. What was that? <laughs> what was that? Have a quite, quite the low voice there for a five year old. <laughs> Just my imagination. And how many kids are in this house? And how big is this house? We're on the east wing. We're supposed to go to the top most floor. This place is huge. Now, what? One of the nuisances for all Metal Gear Sol Solid. I know there's no easy way past this one. Santa, did you already forget about your Christmas spirit? My what now? Your Christmas spirit. It's like telekinesis, except a lot less useful because it's limited to turning on televisions. Wait, uh -huh. what? Simply that you possess the power to turn on a television just by thinking of it. To do this, move your mouse cursor over any television set on the map. Can you I can turn it on TV? by clicking on it. Any children with an earshot of the television will automatically turn towards it. Nothing can resist the magnetic pull of the television screen. This is amazing. There's gotta be a catch. Well, the thing is, you can't turn them off. A five-year-old child has the attention span of a goldfish. And unless you can change what's happening on screen, he'll lose interest in a couple of seconds. And I'm guessing I can't change channels, huh? Afraid not. What a useless power. Not really useless if you can do it for a few seconds. How do I do it? Huber <laughs> discovered! Santa Claus! Does it continue from the level I was on? Yep, good. Hmm, the second one is going to be tough. Think about this. That's how you do it. Now I go here, to the West Wing. Ooh, I see a gift. So what can I do with the gift? Do tell me, Center. Major like Team. Uh -huh. Yeah, but it's just a gift box. I got plenty of those in my sack. Oh, that's no ordinary gift box. What do you mean? Mm -hmm. That gift box has air holes. Air holes. That's right. That gift box was specially designed for wearing. It's a cardboard wearing. box. Yes. By holding the shift key, you can access the inventory. From the inventory, select the gift box item to put it on. Once you've equipped an item, you can tap the shift key to quickly put away or take out the item. What good is wearing a gift box on my head gonna do? It's a disguise. As long as you're not moving, you'll look like an ordinary gift box so the children yep. won't take notice of you. Wait. Aren't children attracted to gift boxes? Well, that particular gift box is full of bombs. It's full of bombs? If you believed it is, would you approach it? Nope. No. Then yes, it's full of bombs. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Don't worry about it. They're five-year-olds. They'll believe anything. No, no, not always. Some five-year-olds can be extremely smart. 
Yay. A gift dog makes of cardboard. The enemies will disregard it if you are standing still inside of it. Slowly but surely, we will sneak past these little children. Huh? Who's that? Nobody! You saw nothing! I'm out of here. Fourth story. I'm just a gift box, nothing else. Can I knock him out? No, I moved! Yeah, we get it! I died! So to speak. Ooh, that was close. Took a risk there. Santa is on the move! To the east wing! Again. So I went to the west wing, and then went up, and now I'm in the next floor on the east wing of this... How is this house built? Like a freaking... I know what's gonna happen here. I hated the cellar in the Metal Gear Solid, and that's what that is. I need to get that other gift. Because those are trap doors. And I'm gonna fall through them if I'm not careful enough. Now you're gonna tell me about them? Gray Fox? You. Let's just say I'm your number one fan. Deep Throat? <laughs> of course. Santa's little helper? How do I know I can believe what you're saying? You don't have to believe anything. But if you want to get out of this mission unnoticed, you don't have much of a choice. So maybe it's just best if you believe what I say. Well, seeing is believing. And I don't see any alarm systems here. So I don't believe a single thing you're saying, either. If you can only believe in the things that you What do you mean? Well, can you see gravity? Nope. No, but... Well, if you can't see gravity, you wouldn't believe in it. And if you don't believe in it, you'd be floating around. But you're not. And since you don't believe in it, but you're not floating, you're just being a hypocrite. Uh-huh. Nobody likes hypocrites. No. Nope. So nobody's gonna like you. And that's why you're gonna be a very unhappy man. I guess you're right. Okay, I believe you. Better believe it. This alarm system. You look like sand so to me. I'm supposed to get past it. I'll let you figure that out by yourself. No, For thanks. Someone named Santa's little helper. You sure don't help that much. Well, he'll yeah, told us that there's lasers. Not a big one. <laughs> hey, yeah, that makes sense. Just don't spot me, little kid. Good. It's amazing that they don't wonder how there's a box appearing somewhere and then it's somewhere else, suddenly. A candy cane. That's what I got. Santa, it looks like you found a candy cane. Yeah. But what's so special about a candy cane? That's no ordinary candy cane. Read the wrapper. Seize candies. That's right. That particular candy cane is a Seize Candies brand candy cane. Since it's from Seize Candies, naturally it will help you see. See what? Didn't someone warn you of a laser security system that was invisible to the human eye? You're telling me that even this candy will help me see those lasers? Only if you believe it can. What's all this baloney about believing? What if I don't believe? Well, then this entire mission will have been for nothing. What? Santa, the most important thing about Christmas is believing. You cannot- I don't have time for this. If you believe in love, the love! Any other songs that have believe in them? A lot, a lot of them, actually, but I can't think of any right now. Except for that Cher song, which was awful. It's kind of funny, that Cher song, uh, Do you believe in love after love? It's the first song that ever used the Auto-Tune. And I hate Auto-Tune. Auto-Tune is freaking disgusting. 
Candy cane from seas candies. It helps you see, see things you wouldn't be able to otherwise. Okay. Oh yeah, he's not the... He's eating it. Like, smoking it. That's what Solid Snake does. Clever. You can even see the uh, sugary smoke coming out of it. So, sort of sugary. Okay, sixth story. There seems to be something on the floor right in front of me. Look, a lump of coal. Ooh. Some kid is gonna be very upset in the morning. Did you just step in a pile of coals? Yeah, why? You're going to leave behind footprints. No. Why'd you have to step on the coals anyway? Giving out coals is my job. I'm the only one that's allowed to make children cry on Christmas. Jeez. You're an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> but you'd better get out of there and fast. The children will follow your footsteps. Wait. Now the children are going to try and steal my job? I said follow your footsteps, not follow in your footsteps. You idiot. You're getting a lump of coal this Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't, don't call Santa an idiot. Man, I'm leaving a lot of footprints behind. That is some tough coal. I hope that's the only kid around here. Really? Uh, should hug the wall. Once I'm down there. Okay, let's hug the wall once I'm down here so he doesn't see me again. There we go. Should have realized that he would be able to see me if I go there. A digital camera? Santa, it said D it camera. Like found a nice digital camera. What good is a digital camera on stealth mission? Uh, yeah, you can use the flash as a distraction. Or That's take pictures of ghosts. How do you come up with this stuff? When I get bored, I think of ways to annoy children. Really? No. No. But how am I supposed to take photos of them without being seen? That camera is equipped with a remote control that can activate it from anywhere in the same area. Press the control key to place the camera. Okay. Once it's set, press the control key again to set off the flash. This will blind anyone within sight of the flash. However, you can only use the camera six times in one area. Uh -huh. Film. Oh, gotcha. Keep in mind that if a guard sees a digital camera, he will go investigate it. If a guard happens to touch digital camera, it will automatically go off. What are we going to do with the pictures when the mission is over? I'm sure I can figure something out. What? Burn them? Who is that? How about burn the pictures? I mean, they're pictures of little children. What kind of gun did I get? Santa, it looks like you found a Nerf gun. Yeah, but what good is a Nerf gun on a stealth mission? Well, it's a specially modified Nerf gun with tranquilizer bullets. What? Once you have the Nerf gun equipped, hold the control key to aim. You can change your direction while aiming, and you can see a little further up ahead as well. To fire a dart, let go of the control key. Keep in mind that you've got a limited quantity of darts. What happens when I run out? Well, the darts get refilled every time you enter a new area. Wait a sec. That's completely unrealistic. Are you seriously complaining about realism in a game about Santa Claus? Wait, what are you implying? Nothing. Bye. That you're not real! And also, you didn't have any uh, complaints about the camera refilling its uh, film. There. Sleepy little children. How big is this house? I'm already at the eighth story. What the hell? Okay, how am I supposed to get through this? 
I'm sure if one of the children sees uh, one of the others uh, taken out by the nerf gun, they're gonna be alerted to my presence. Let's see if it does like I was thinking it would do. No, they don't care. One of them falls asleep and they don't care. Fuck! Fuck me and fuck you! They turn around so goddamn fast. Ugh, this is hard. Santa Claus. Santa Claus. Do they see through the fucking wall now or way? Let me guess, I got lucky last time. Yep. That was a security alarm. I got lucky last time. Damn it! I shot the shame. It shot the shame kid. Shot the shame kid at the same time. Shaper, shaper, shaper. Nah, it doesn't even last that long because he just woke up. Okay. Now that wouldn't even help if I shot one of the kids. Uh, it's a 50-50 chance I'll shoot the wrong kid. I got the balls with God damn it. This is tough. God damn. God, God damn. Tap, 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 Why is this one so freaking hard? Come on, change to the gift. I didn't even notice that kid... Those two kids are actually looking down! Shit. I was using the camera again! I was using it again! Why did it not work? I'm getting sick and tired of this game now. Having to do one level over and over and over again just pisses me off. There, you're all blinded. I know how to beat you, I will beat you, fuck you, game. Really, fuck you. I'm getting annoyed, just, I'm just getting annoyed. I'm sure that people at that, this point would be writing down, Where's your Christmas spirit? My, my Christmas spirit is up my ass right now. Why did you change it out? I didn't even click shift. Son of a bitch.
Well, I made it through. Freaking finally. This is going to be impossible. I got three kids there. Those two there. And I'm sure there's... Oh, there's nobody here. There is more. It was the nerf, nerf gun being shot too early, kid. So you're watching through windows, huh? What's the use of coming back here? Because there's going to be the security there. I don't get it. Alright, I forgot. I can actually place it and then use it. That was close. I'm done. I'm done. I, I don't... I'm done. Merry Christmas to everybody. Yeah, or whatever. It's not even Christmas yet. But I'm done with that game. I'm done. It's not bad. It's not a bad game. I just get frustrated because I... Ugh. I hate repeating levels over and over and over and over again. I, I just... It just frustrates me. That's all. I'm not saying it's, a, it's not a reaction to it that it's a bad game. It's hard. That's what it is. But I wasn't expecting it to be freaking easy either. That would be stupid. But an interesting concept anyway. It was surprisingly long. I thought this would be a short game, but not. No. Still, who knows how many story, how many floors there are to the freaking house. Uh, but anyway, thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. And I hope you all have a good evening, good afternoon, and a good morning. And I will see you all next time. Take care, people. Bye.